Hi and welcome to this tutorial. What we're going to do over the next few videos is basically take this head model and we're going to rig it. We're going to make it fully capable of facial animation and as well as a wide variety of facial expressions just so this character can show a wide range of emotions. Now to do this we're going to take we're basically going to take these controls here you know we've got this user interface here all these controls they currently don't do anything they're all set up ready to be used we've also got these controls you know the larger area controls for controlling the head the mouth the eyes etc as well now at the moment these don't do anything to the head because there's nothing on the head it's not got a skeleton in it's not got blend shapes it's not got anything like that but in this tutorial we're not going to focus really on building the skeleton, painting the weights, you know, doing all the more fundamental things. You know, traditionally with a rig, you would use set driven keys quite a lot to get to drive the facial poses. You'd either use blend shapes or you'd use joints. Um, blend shapes you get the nice shapes and everything. With joints a little bit more uh, of a task to set up but then everything's driven by set driven keys which then you know can clog up your scene and, and, and increase the file size instead what we're going to do is we're combi going to combine the two approaches we're going to use blend shapes which will give us our main face shapes you know give us the nice uh, forms which we need and we're also going to use joints and the joints will then help to add in another layer of animation on top to just pull and push uh, the main areas of the shape of, of the face around so basically to give you maximum flexibility so you'll you know you'll you'll see as we go on just how both can work together quite nicely now i mentioned set driven keys earlier and what with this rig we're not going to use set driven keys at all what we're going to use instead are um maze utility nodes now you may have seen these if you've been looking in the hypershade or floating around in the node editor and you've probably just ignored them like I did for many years you know they looked a bit complicated um, they were probably only useful for shaders anyway weren't they um, that's what I always thought but recently I've uh, come to realize that they are very useful for rigging um, not only that but they can be a lot easier to set up they're a lot more versatile and uh, you know you can get a lot more out of them if you're if you're clever with how you uh, how you use them. Um, but anyway, you'll see all this as we get through the tutorial. I think I've waffled on uh, quite enough now. So yes, we've got our head. We've got all our controls here, and these are just your standard NURBS controls um, for various parts of the face, which we're going to wire up. Um, obviously, we've got things for the mouth, the nose. Uh, and some extras here for sticky lips um, and other things like that. So as I mentioned, we're going to use a combination of blend shapes and joints. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, generate the blend shapes. Now again, like I mentioned, when I'm not going to go through the process of generating all the blend shapes. So I've already gone through and gener started working on these. And as you can see, I've started working on certain shapes. Now, we have a frown, we have a smile, we have a wide mouth. Now, those three in particular are quite important. If you look, we have the mouth going out to the side. Well, if you focus on the corner of the mouth, because the, what this rig will essentially do is allow you to pick the corner of the mouth and pull it around to get these various shapes. So that's why we need these three main shapes first. You imagine we the mouse closed, we pick the corner of the mouth here, we pull the control out to the side and it'll achieve this blend shape. The same with this, we push, push it up and it'll go to this one and the same with the frown. Now the beauty of this is we can use one control and as you move it up and down or around it'll blend between the three, in effect pulling the corner of the mouth around. So there, those are the first three. That's just a variation of the smile. In fact, that's the smile I'm going to use as opposed to this wide smile here. This is just an extra sort of corrective shape which you can use 
as the smile gets wider, just in case, you know, the shape's not exactly what you want. So let's just hide that for now, because that's just confusing things. So when you're generating your blend shapes, it's easier to use, uh, have symmetry enabled, because you want both sides to be the same. And don't be afraid to use Maya's new sculpting tools. Well, I say new, relatively new sculpting tools. They're really handy for pulling uh, big shapes around. Now with the smile and the frown, don't be tempted to pull the corner of the mouth out to the side and up. You've got the wide shape here, which is going to give you the movement out to the side. All you want with the smile and the frown is the up and down shape. The width will come from this blend shape here. So let's have a quick look at some of the others. So we've got our lower lids closed, our upper lids closed. We've also got a halfway variation. Now this is so, now blend shapes will only move from point A to point B. So these eyelid uh, vertices here will move directly up. What we do is add a midpoint and that will force them to almost look like they're moving round the eyeball rather than straight up. And that will stop this from intersecting with the eye. We've also then got some other basic shapes. We've got a pucker, we've got an O shape, We've got sort of a gritting teeth shape, so all the lips pull back so the teeth can be bared. We've got the cheeks puffed out. You know, you could you can go on and add as many as you like here. We've, we've got one here where the lips are just clamped closed for those M sounds. So we have our basic shapes, and as I said, you can add in as many more as you want. But obviously these are affecting the whole uh, mouth or the whole eye. What you want to do now is split these into two. And rather than go in and just having to rebuild these, we can take these main blend shapes and we can create something which will pretty much automatically generate either the left or the right side for us. So let's just take our main head. I'm going to duplicate that. Let's move that over there and we'll call that head right BS. BS for blend shape. Left BS. So we have our two heads here. So I'm going to select all the heads, select the right one, and we go to, uh, let's just bring that back. Uh, oh, deform blend shape. I'm going to open that up. Now this is just a temporary blend shape, so it doesn't really matter. So for now, I'm just going to call right side BS, apply. I'm going to deselect that and we're going to select the next one. Left side blend shape. So we now have two blend shape nodes with these in. And you can see we move those like so, and they're working. So let's just put one on. It doesn't really matter which, so we know that they're activated. Now we're gonna do is we are going to go to deform paint weights blend shape. As you can see, the right it will bring up the blend shape node plus all the blend shapes underneath. So you can define different weights for each blend, each blend shape over, or an overall one for the blend shape node. What you could do then is go in and paint the weights so that the so this is the right side, so we want this side to have the blend shape on. So this side has zero on it. In fact, what I'll do is I'll demonstrate that now. So let's just set value to zero. And as I paint that, you can see, let's just use a harder brush. You can see that it's removing the influence from here. Now using the uh, painting the weights, it can be a bit tricky. So there is a quicker way of doing it. What I'm gonna do is just, let's just close that down. Let's go to the front view. Let's just go back to this panel. Just move this over. And we're just gonna select the left hand side like so. We're not selecting the vertices in the middle. 
we're just selecting the left hand side then go to window general editors component editor so I'll just bring this over here so you can see it uh, it's already selected here but you have your blend shape deformers so what we can do is try and find our master control here right side blend shape and we're just going to scrub that down so we've got it all selected type 0 and enter and then if I move that down so all those rather than painting them I've just gone in and set the values manually so now we can go in and select the central ones like so just make sure that's it now we don't want these to be set zero because we want them to be influenced by the blend shapes but then we don't want them set to one because if if the right side is set to one so we've got the mouth open like this and the middle vertices are influenced and the left side is set to one then the middle vertices are going to be influenced by a value of two because it's going to be influenced by both sides so instead we want the middle vertices to be influenced half by each side so when they're both combined you get a value of one in the middle so you're not over influencing so we'll go over to right bs again set that to 0.5 so that's now influenced by half. So if I open the blend shapes here, we close that down. If you notice, we can edit these. Okay. Sometimes Maya does this um, with blend shapes. You notice some are working and some aren't. All we need to do is save the scene out and load it back in, but I'll do that uh, sort of next. So now we can repeat the process on this side. So select the right side of the head's vertices. So, imagine, so this is the head's right side, not your right side. Obviously, yeah, if you understand. Uh, Windows, General, Editors, Component Editor, go over to the end left side side blend shape because we want it to affect, affect the whole blend shape so go down to the bottom set that to zero and now we're selecting the middle one because we want it influenced by half move this back up so set 0.5 and there we go. Let's just set all those to zero. So you can see there for that particular blend shape. So now we have just the right side of that shape there and just the left side there and that will work for all of them. So at this stage you could keep this in a scene with all the blend shapes because basically, well, let's just uh, see if we can get a frown. That's it. Basically, these are still tied to this. So rather than going through all this again, you could save this scene out. And then if you have to edit this blend shape later, you notice it's being updated here because it's still all connected. So we could change this mouth, you know, and then it'll update here. But when you're happy with these shapes, all you do is you sort of start from, work your way through and go frown one. So let's duplicate those. So we bake that in and there we've got our left and right blend shapes. We named them correctly and then we can go in and we can say, do those two, duplicate, you know, and so on and so on. So you're baking in those shapes and you're allowing for your your work to be editable should you have to go through this again and tweak the blend shapes later once uh, you're playing around with them. So let's delete those. Let's just. What I'm going to do is I'm going to temporarily save the file out, bring it back in just so all the blend shapes uh, are, are working. So I'll just do that now. Okay, so I've saved the scene out and loaded it back in. Like I say, that's a, 
a bit of a bug in Maya uh, with the blend shapes, but now they're all working. So we have our left and right eyelids, we have the pucker, you know, and so on. Just go through them all, just test them all. But then you just duplicate these to bait them out and you've got all your main blend shapes then. So you could just go through and generate as many of these that you need. You could even divide them into smaller sections of the mouth if you needed to. Um, so for example, uh, the lips, you know, remember this was gritting his teeth. We could maybe say, oh, well, we just want the middle and then the side. And then they can be separate controls for pulling the mouth, mouth around. So there's a lot you can do with this sort of technique. Um, but I think for this first video, uh, we're going to call it a day. Um, and we'll just pick up in the next video. Um, yeah, where we start to uh, generate our main blend shapes and, uh, you know, discussing uh, building the skeleton. So, yeah, I'll leave this here and I'll see you in the next video.